Hi and welcome to this week's presentation on Assessment and Treatment of Plantar Fasciopathy. It's presented by Rob Standen and brought to you by Clinical Edge. With the body chart, typically the, the pain is localised and described as being localised to the heel or perhaps the middle of the foot. First of all, we've got the medial edge of the plantar fascia running up onto the base of the big toe there. And that's, that's, that's <coughs> the strongest connection. And then we have subsequent lines of the plantar fascia onto the other toes. Okay, so the most common site of pain is here on the medial calcaneal tuberosity. The other place that, it, that you get it commonly is just smack bang in the mid middle of the tuberosity. And you can even have pain from a tear in the plantar fascia extending back as, as far as the back of the heel here underneath the fat pad. In some cases, I just want a green, I'll go for green. You'll get plantar fascia pain In the middle of the, of, the, of the plantar fascia, it usually tends to be more medial than lateral. Okay, so they're, they're the sites that, you, that the patient usually describes it in. It's not associated with hyperesthesia, dysthesia, or pins and needles, or numbness. Okay, this, this is usually suggestive of alternative diagnoses, although it can be association, associated rather with entrapment of the medial calcaneal nerve or the muscular branch of the lateral plantar nerve. Now, it actually travels straight underneath the insertion of the plant. You're right, yes. <laughs> right, of the plantar fascia there. Okay, so you do occasionally get secondary entrapment, but it's it's very difficult. It's very different to tarsal tunnel syndrome, for example, in its presentation. In you, the, the referral tends to be localised to the foot, um, and you don't tend to get generalised pins and needles, numbness in the toes, that sort of thing that you get with, with tarsal tunnel syndrome. So first of all, the pain is, is, is well localised. Second thing is, at going through the 24 hour pain pattern, generally no night pain, unless you've got bony involvement. If there's no bony involvement, generally your patients have no trouble sleeping. Plantar fascia pain is nearly always associated with pain first thing in the morning. Now I said earlier on I was going to talk about migrating. Okay, I think this is a stress reaction and so I'm going to treat it, I treat it in exactly the same way that I treat any stress reaction. I think that the initial reaction has to do with the soft tissue response and a response in the periosteum. So you get a periostitis associated with that. So this protocol is particularly effective with people who only have a soft tissue response or a periosteal, plus or minus a periosteal response. 